the new network fusion started because the original idea is that there were many Latinos, young Latinos, who were not watching Univision for a very simple reason. They feel more comfortable in English than in Spanish. And the original idea is to make sure that they would be watching Univision or Fusion and that they would be getting their news from us. The background is that there has been a major shift within the Hispanic community because the growth from the Hispanic community now comes from Hispanics being born in the United States and not from immigration. And obviously, if you're born in the United States, you're going to feel much more comfortable in English. So the original idea was to produce programming for young Latinos in the United States. And then, fortunately, we, we didn't do it. We, we made a lot of uh, research, and we realized that young Latinos didn't want to be put aside in a different box, that young Latinos, obviously being born in the United States, they wanted to be, they wanted to feel part of the rest of America. Mm -hmm. so, so we said, we can't do a show and we can, do a, we, can, we can be a network just for young Latinos, but we have to be a network for all young people in this country, including Latinos. And that's where Fusion uh, was born, mm -hmm. with the idea that millennials needed a voice that millennials needed a new network to discuss politics, diversity, entertainment, music, art, and that Fusion was going to be that network. For me, it was a great opportunity because after 30 years of doing interviews and reporting only in Spanish that needed translation, finally I had the opportunity to do a television show in the United States that didn't need a translation. And the impact and the influence was immediate. People who had no idea who we were or who knew who we were but never heard what we had been doing for decades finally saw what we were doing. Mm -hmm. and, and what I did, I, I kept on doing the same, the same thing, asking the same tough questions, doing, having the same interviewing style. But instead of doing it in Spanish, as with Noticiero Univision and Al Punto, I was able to do that again uh, on Fusion. And, and, and something marvelous happened, something almost magical happened, that from being completely unknown for the rest of America, then thanks to Fusion, people started knowing what I was, what I was doing. And, and that was wonderful. That crossover was, was the conclusion of a very, very long career in which I, I could finally say, that I, can, that I can work in this country, both in English and in Spanish. And what I have to say is that uh, this country gave me the opportunities that my country of origin couldn't give me. And I just hope that this country continues doing that with the immigrants who came after me.